This is our Cobra. This is Let's Play Gene Forge Blind. Now that we're back in town, I should be able to create another minion for me. So I don't have the few ones to create. I thought about adding a point of endurance to this and the other one, but then I would have no mana left, and I f think it's better to save some mana for healing. Just a little bit, but whatever helps. That also means we'll be go going back to the school now. Hopefully exploring a bit more. But yeah. So far, I'd say the game is tough, but fair. And I like that. Yeah, let's go to the Bandit Woods. Now, I should probably stay in the back. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, can I do that move? Oh. Can I have a do twenty five? Jesus Christ! Yeah, I'm not ready to take these guys on. But hey. It was worth a try, you know? And besides, I don't actually need to go that way. And, oh, it seems there's something really spawning. Either that or this is one of the creatures that moved into the area uh, from other places on the map. That is also a possibility. Actually, no. Like, is it like? Yep. Anyone else? No. Good. Ruined school. Yes, please. Now. Today we want to go... Yeah, why don't we go down there? Let's see what we can find. Now, there should probably be some creatures in here, but there's probably less than before. So yeah, um, can I get an update on that? Can they respawn? Or not? Ooh, exactly what I need. Huh. Because, well, I was told I should probably pick this, some more of this all up so I can sell it. So I'll also go for stuff that seemed reasonably var uh, valuable. Uh, let's see. Carrying 72 <laughs> encumbrance. Yeah, okay. So, not carrying anything more unless it's vital. And all stuff to sell. Eight living tools. Well, that's a lot. Alright, let's try to go this way. I 
I must say, the system in this game makes me think of Dungeons and Dragons. Just with a party I myself created. <laughs> Instead of a group of people coming together. But yeah, that's what this reminds me of. Let's just finish the map over here. Yep. Oh! Aha! Wait. What are we fighting? Oh! Oops. Uh, hi! Where are you going, Speedy Gonzales? Ah, <laughs> uh, you missed. Ooh! Skill points to spend. Excellent. Some more mechanics will probably help. Now let's just get some more healing then. The ruined lecture hall smells of dust and mildew and something else. The odor is slightly off, but you can't mistake the smell of fresh essence. The vessel around you were once filled with various chemicals and solutions, created, used, and destroyed by the students here. They are cracked and empty now. The vats to the west here are intact and telltale steam rise from them. If someone placed essence in the vats, it must have been done recently, otherwise it would have rotted away by now. Even from here you can hear it bubbling and fizzling, ready for shaving. This vat does indeed contain a large quantity of essence. It's not fresh, it must be several weeks old, and the proteins and other organic substances are starting to decay. When you look closer, you can see that the vat actually contains what looks like a body covered with a thin layer of essence. This may actually be the remnants of an experiment gone wrong. There's a metal ladle nearby. If you used to poke the goop and try to identify it, you are bang away, fair experiments can be dangerous. It's more because of, you know, on a quick save just in case, see what this thing is. The moment you poke body with a ladle, it stirs. It looks like a fiora, but it's horrible and misshapen. It's as if someone tried to shape it, but lacked the proper materials and knowledge. The hopper twisted creature immediately attacks you. Hmm. Probably for the best. The vat does indeed contain a large quantity of essence. It's not fresh, it must be several weeks old, and the proteins no organic substance is time to decay. Essence doesn't just happen, it must be mixed up by a skilled shaper following a complicated and secret recipe. You aren't sure what this stuff is doing here, but it certainly shouldn't be here. There's a large lump visible in the middle of the coop. You can't see what's underneath it. No, there's a middle ladle nearby if you want to read what it is. I can see what it is. The moment you pop up with a ladder, cloud acrid gas burst out. It's not feeling very ill. Oh dear. That was an uncomfortable experience. But an experience we survived nonetheless. Now you have to be a bit adventurous to learn new things. There were some of the school's textbook, the centuries when Damper ruined them. Hello, Doug. Am I encumbered now? Nope. The 
It should take about four living tools to open it. Oh. Right. Let's keep looking then. Whoop. Oh dears. Oh many dears. This is an unpleasant situation, to say the least. Damn! Ouch! Don't do that! to create a new one. But we survived. That's the important part. Sheesh. That leads back there, so let's continue this way around. Maybe should heal myself, but want to save the essence for later. Never know. Ouch. Well, that was pathetic. It can also be a bit troublesome at times because you have to hit the engage battle button really quickly. And. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I should have had the quick save. <clears throat> My mistake. In any case, let us proceed. Let's just finish the back down here. So yeah, there's still some areas here that need to be explored. Also, we'll heal myself this time. Wait, what's a quick button for... Uh... Hmm. There must be a quick button for it. Oh, hey, there's something down there. That's surprising. Uh. Ow. You bastard. Should take seven. God damn it! (laughs) 
the ouch. Again, should probably try to keep it in good health. Apparently, otherwise, they panic easily. Nothing. You know it? The guard room. Heavy stone doors and narrow passages. You can guess what this hall leads. You're almost to the creation hall. Ahead, no doubt, the young shapers first set their hands to molding life with a considerable accompanying danger. Creation halls are always set up so that their keepers can sit them off in a moment. Unfortunately, the doors have stuck open. Several of the walls have been smashed down. That is unlikely to be a good sign. Oh, aren't you ever so cheerful? You enter the creation hall and find that it is occupied. There are still creations at the fine of the hall. The surprisingly, they completely lack the expected level of obedience. One of them is an enormous Thad. One look at it inside reveals a strange, unexpected level of intelligence. Thads are stupid creatures made for physical labor and melee combat. This one has developed crude speech and the seeming appeal to plan. You, you know it can talk because it's just a challenge to you. You invade us! This is my home now! You kill my pets? I, Rawbone! We no follow you! We slay you now! Well, ain't that cheerful. Yeah. I must admit, I don't see this going well. Yep. Not at all. As I certainly doubt I'm going to be able to beat that bunch anytime soon. So And there's no essence pool in here for me to recharge, so you know what? Let us retreat. Let's make like a tree and leave. There are other places we can go until we are stronger and more capable. But I did upgrade my mechanics, didn't I? Yep. So maybe I can get into that room down in the corner. I remember it didn't require many living tools, and maybe that has improved. Both because I found a living tool, and because, you know, I have better mechanics now. I mean, one can always hope. Nope, still takes about four. Righto. I guess we'll head back to the village now and then try to go east outfits. See where that leads. But yeah, we'll definitely be coming back here at some point.